All right, so for the last problem in this section, we're going to look at the Blu-ray sales. So the table on the next page show records the volume of sales in thousands of a movie uh, for selected months, the first 18 months after it was released on Blu-ray. So we're supposed to find a logistic model for the data. All right, then after that, we're supposed to answer the following question. So let's first get the data. So um, if we do that, I've already typed the data in just so it took less time. So we got the data in here. That's what the graph looks like. So now we just have to do our logistic model. And the nice thing being on the computer, it takes a lot less time than it does on the calculator because it uses the computer memory. And so we get our value here. So let me write that down. Uh, 695.606 divided by one plus 0.081 e to the negative negative, so it's a positive 0.495x. All right, so let's write that back over here. And so we get uh, for A, it's going to be, let's call it, uh, I don't know, disks of x is equal to our 695.606 all over our 1 plus 0 0.081 e to the positive 0 0.495 x okay and that's thousands uh discs sold uh from two to 18 months okay all right well i guess we could probably it's probably from zero but it shows two for our data so uh we'll we'll go with we'll go with that all right, so uh, next thing, what do we need to do here? Uh, now it says, which of the following would give the most accurate value of the number of Blu-ray discs sold during the first 15 months after release, then explain. Okay, so either using 15 right rectangles to establish the number of Blu-ray discs sold during the first 15 months, the limit of the sum of midpoint rectangles using the model in part A, or the actual sum of the sales figures for the first 15, first 15 months. Well, if we were actually doing it, the best one is going to be the actual sum. That's going to give us the most accurate value. Okay, so for part B, um, the sum of the actual sales figures uh, would be uh, the best followed by where my W go? Uh, all my W and every ED erased. Followed by, and then I would say our midpoint would be next. Then the right triangle or right rectangles. Okay, And so that would be kind of the order I would say that we would actually do these in and it would give us the most uh, accurate values as far as if we were actually had to do these. Now if we actually had to do these you know that's going to be a little bit more work because you know they're going to probably in this case want us to do these with the uh, actual uh, limits and sum of x's and all that stuff but because of of that you know I'm going to say that's that's not how we're going to do it we're going to do it using integrals instead of having all those right rectangles or middle rectangles or you know however we do it it, it was going to take a lot less time using the integrals okay um, so that's all I have for this so hopefully that helps